Well, here we go, it's match day, it's Sunderland versus Doncaster at the Stadium of Light. I'm going for a 1-0 victory, we have to win the last five matches, and at worst, win four, draw one. It's really important we win today against a really informed Doncaster, who have won the last four matches, are in absolutely fantastic form, and should finish in the playoff positions. I'm going to go and pick up Wincy and Jonas now from the Travs, and I'm going to go and pick up Kano, and then my nephew for his first ever Sunderland football match. His first ever football match live at all. Never played a match in his life. 11 year old is going to his first match today to experience the stadium of light. And I cannot wait. And Touchwood, please, is a lucky mascot and he'll bring us three points today. Come on, the lads. I'm at the Traveller's Rest. I'm coming to pick up Wincy and Jonas. Jonas, kids eat for free in the Traveller's Rest. Is it nice in there? Um. How's the food? It's all I right. Got, I don't like the chips. Chips that really. You don't like the chips, do you not? Oh, oh, I thought they were lovely. What's the score going to be anyway today, Jonas? I think maybe 1-0. One 1-0 one to Sunderland? Yeah. That's exactly what I said. Who's going to score? Um, I think Will Will Grigg? No, I'm McGee. McGee, yes. McGee, you're going to start McGee, today? Start, like. yeah. Hopefully yeah. McGee will start there. Eh? We'll probably be on the bench. Yeah, on the bench, I think he'll start today. No, no. Change That's that. It. Two one Sunderland. Change that. Change that a minute. I'm not gonna put on. I'm not gonna say that McGeady's gonna score. I'm gonna right. say that John McLaughlin's gonna score. No, John, John McLaughlin's yeah. gonna yeah. score. One day yeah. he'll score, yeah. and you're gonna be yeah. right, and you're gonna be the hero, aren't you? Yeah. Three sensible there. Eh? Yeah. I mean, again, oh, he's he's wincing with his pint. Afternoon. That looks nice, but I'm driving, so I can't drink. Yeah. Yeah. You're what's lucky, isn't it? Oh, you know, <laughs> I'll have some tomorrow night. Anyway, what's the score gonna be, Wincy? Two one to Sunderland. Two one to Sunderland. Goal scorers. Yeah, Greg and Mike. Rig and white, what a lovely sunny day. Oh, good, 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 good day for it, isn't it. And what's the food like in the Chavs? I never had none because I've got pints only. Oh, right, okay, pints only. How Make many pints is that? Be fourth. Fourth already, it's fourth in the top past nine in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Liquid lunch. There you go. It's the rematch. After the first leg, it was Jonas 1, no King O Neil, but now it's the rematch. It's the jockey between King O and Jonas. On your marks, get oh, set, go, now. go. And he's in the lead. Go on, Jonas, Go on, Kino. Oh. Who's going to win? Go on, Jonas. Go on, Jonas. Jonas going to fall oh, over. No, it's from the fence there. And we come to the end. <laughs> right, I meet the deal with Dan, my nephew, in his first ever Sunderland match. Dan, what's the score going to be today? 1 0 to Sunderland. Are you convinced we're going to win today, are you? Be very first. This is my lucky mascot. Hopefully, Dan will bring us some luck. We can get a victory against Doncaster. Nice and sunny, Dan, isn't it? Are you excited for your first match? Really excited. Looking forward to his first match. We've got Kino. Kino. What's the score going to be today, Kino? I'm going for a funny score. I think it'll be a, uh, like a game like the other week. I think it'll be 3 3. 3 3? Yeah, plays a pitch. Uh, how's that funny? Yeah, wait, you know, sort of a way to score off, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Not funny though, is it? I want to win, I don't think it's true. It won't be funny, it'll be draw, like, you know. Uh, you know what I'm saying, you know? He's a bit tight off his jockey, see that jockey there? I've just told me jockey, I'm worn out as a grand nasty. And he's won, he beat Jonas, Jonas! He beat this, so it's one's each! It's one's each! One's each! I made a deal. Are the top Welsh fan? Yeah, right. Yeah, right, what's your name? Richie. Richie, Live what's the Anglesey. score going to be today? Anglesey. 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. See you enjoy the vlogs, do you? Yeah, I love them. Nice one, mate. Class. Nice one. Who's going to score today? The Giddy to... The to well, I've had to go 9 or no. Go oh, 9, eh? Yeah. Oh, well, enjoy your day. Enjoy All the right, sunny weather. Hopefully dogs. good results. All right, that's it. Here's McGeady taking the shot. Oh, the back of the net from McGeady. I mean, the top son of man is drove eight hours to see this match. All the way from Coral. All right, the All right, the lads. What's your name? Rob Keir. Rob Keir. Watches all the vlogs, this guy watches all the vlogs, all the way from Cornwall. Watch him make me wait. Father and son, and all the way around the pitch. Pleasure to meet you. Enjoying the match so far? Excellent. Well, I thought the ball important score. And today we have all the juniors on board. We need to get the third goal goal in the play. Well, what the final score is going to be? Last night, the Bowen Knocks. 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 Aidan McGeady, Aidan McGeady, yeah. Jonas is favourite Hold player. Up. I tell you what, mate. You ready? The defence has been better with those turkeys. Three, two, one. Oh, nice to meet you, mate. Enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you. Enjoy.
you stay anywhere. <laughs> but it's half time, it's Sunderland 2, Dunk Aston Neal, and all change. Jack Cross has run the changes. He's dropped Baldwin and Flanagan and brought in Oz Turk and Dunk, like we predicted. Wikes up front by himself and also Catamore's back and McGeeby's back. So all changes today. It's been a good first half. Yep. We deserve the 2 0 lead. Exactly. So what exactly it? correct. Exactly. So what do you think of the first half, Morgan lad? One of our best performances of the season, I think. I mean, Dunk has to could have had a penalty at the start, maybe, I don't know, but we've got the 2 0 lead, that's what matters. Yes. Right. Well, I didn't think it was a penalty anyway. I no, thought our I defenders sure, have played quite well. Yeah, they've done, right, right, done right. well in centre of defence. Best time to play together, we've got to remember. Yeah. Yeah, Charlie White's the one card up front as well. Yeah, I've noticed Dunk has to kind of really pass the ball that well, and oh, spray really the ball nice. out of touch quite well, which I'm happy about. Oh, yeah, so Any thoughts, Keno? Join in. Come on, jump in, Keno, then. It's our best performance of the season by Punky Mile. Yeah, we toss him down this left hand side, McGavey, and there, uh, whatever. And it's just they're good stuff. Good goal from there, Morgan, wasn't it? Oh, good it's really yes, a good though, strike, right? Was it you, Morgan? No, no, oh, it wasn't me. Morgan. Any was relation? No, no, no. Good goal for Morgan and White tapped one in from that. I think it was a cross from power, wasn't it? Oh, I was about yeah. to say, didn't you? Know, so we easily right, deserve yeah. the lead at the moment. Yeah. Best time by Country Mile Foot to give it to us. Exactly, let's not take our foot off the pedal and let's get this game put to bed. Yeah. 3 or 4 nil. touch wood. Oh, yeah. I've got my lucky mascot here, Dan the man. Hey. Dan, you're the lucky mascot so far, you enjoying the game? Hi. Hi, you enjoying the game, eh? Nice and noisy, isn't it? Definitely. 2-0 to Sunderland. 2-0 to Sunderland. Did you enjoy that first goal? It was good, yeah, wasn't it? Right in front of you, wasn't it? After seven I minutes. Doncaster could have had the long goal, but Yes, McLaughlin, good save. Well done. Yes, Doncaster had a free kick oh, one minute ago, and McLaughlin did a fantastic save, didn't he? Right. Let's hope we can get the second half and keep going and win 2-3-0. Try and claim the score. As long as we get three points, it's all that matters. We'll yeah. catch you in a bit. Come on, Andy. Tackle. Go on, Alvin. Get there. Go on. And finish. Go on. Andy. Andy. He's done it. Right, we're just dropping chick. We're just dropping Keno off at the Chinese, <laughs> going for the Chinese, he's going for some cans. Keno, what's your last thoughts on the match? Not wrong with that. Yeah, brilliant first half, McGeady outstanding, cut them all outstanding. They're plenty to look forward to over the next few matches. Four straight wins to get promoted, eh? Yes, I think we'll do it. Fingers crossed. Come on! Right, lads! Come on! What's your thoughts on what's your thoughts on John Gaster, lads? lads. Eww, 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 Eww. 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 Donkeys! Donkeys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think they've had too many sweets, yeah. haven't they? Oh, too I many, too many oh, curry and chips. Oh. Well, here we go. It's just finished Sunderland 2, Donk Aston nil. And my little lucky mascot, nephew Dan, has seen his first match in victory at the Stadium of Light. I might take him more often. Oh, no drinks all day. Been driving there and back. Finally getting in a quarter past eight. Or is it half past eight? Half past eight is the first drink of the day. I can't wait for me fish and chip tea. Well, Jack Ross did what we wanted him to do. He rang the changes after last week's disastrous defending calamity against Coventry. This week, Dunn and Ozturk came in. An absolutely fantastic display from two centre-backs who have never played together. First time... In the, in the team together, Dunn barking out the orders, was barking out the orders left, right and centre, very vocal Dunn, I quite like that, and Oz Turk, solid as a rock. No nonsense, defenders that you want to get the ball out and clear the lines, absolutely brilliant. Also, McGeady was back today, absolutely masterclass first performance, some trickery skills was amazing going past their defenders, absolutely brilliant for McGeady. Pleased to see him back fit. Let's hope he stays fit, Touchwood, and Catamore back in the lineup. Absolutely, Catamore was absolutely amazing. Here again, backing out the orders in the second half, making sure the team stays vigilant and focused on their jobs. Catamore got a yellow card, which was unlucky, because a lot of Dunk Aster players did the same kind of challenges and never got boot. But Catamore, again, we need that bite in midfield. That's what we need. He went one up front. And a big, a big mention to Charlie Wyke. Absolutely brilliant display today. He's getting better and better. I've been one of the people who have been not wanting him in the side over the season. But give him his due. 
the people who have not wanted him in the team, who have said he's no good, he's starting to show them the light, the Charlie White light. That's what they're trying to do. He's really playing well. He's up by himself today. Greg was dropped on the bench. White was up by himself. And he and he, he wins all the headers. He's, he's getting better and better. He's getting fitter and fitter. And he takes some knocks as well, mind. And he scored a good goal. It was a good tap in, a good cross, I think, from power. The ball came over and White stuck it in the back of the net to make a 2-0. And he got an absolutely arousing, a, a fucking rousing. Charlie White scored the winner when he was taken off for Grigg late in the game. He got such a standing ovation, it was fantastic. I'm pleased for White. He's getting better and better and better. He's like a fine wine. He's starting to mature with his age. He's only 26, 27 year old, but he's been injured. Like a lot of old players have been injured this season. We bought them, we brought them into the side, and they've been injured, but they're starting to get fit. Morgan had a fantastic first half, a really, really good performance, and he got a great finish, and he was over the moon when he scored. Absolutely giving it this goal metal. Absolutely fantastic goal after seven minutes. Oh, McKinney, lad. And then, like I said, about 32 minutes, White got his goal to make a 2-0. Half time it was 2-0. And we were completely dominant in the first half. I think Don Asa had one chance to go to free kick with one minute of injury time to go in the first half. And McLaughlin made a fantastic world-class save. So the first half was brilliant. But we knew second half, Don Asa would come out and try and put us under some pressure and try and get some goals. But like I said, cat them all in the centre of midfield, protecting the defenders. Even though the defenders did their job well today. Catamore was always there protecting the defenders, making the clearances, making, putting his body on the line again, putting another full shift in. This is the reason why he gets so many knocks and so many injuries, but he wears his heart in his sleeve and he gives 100%. And that's what you want to see from the players like Catamore, from every player on the pitch. And it was a good result at the end of the day. The huffed and puffed on Aston in the second half, but not many clear cut chances, chances, and we won 2 0. The Doncaster fans were going mental with the referee. They were saying the referee is absolutely useless. But I thought, for once, a referee had a decent game at the stadium of light. I don't like slagging off referees. This referee must have been about four foot tall, but he had a good game. And we look at him mascot. So his first win and three points to the lads. So, oh, I mean... So close today, Portsmouth were one's a pitch against Burton with two minutes of injury time to go and they scored the winner. So well done Portsmouth. You certainly see out the 90 minutes all right and you steered. Level points with Sunderland but we got better goal difference and even more better goal difference because we scored an extra goal more than you today. Or we didn't let one in. Clean sheet for the lads. Good defending. Get a clean sheet. Like I said, like I said the other day. I was saying to Ray as well, my good ma my good mate Ray, what was the same? You keep a clean sheet, we win games. We score every game apart from away at Barnsley. We keep a clean sheet, we'll get three points. One game gone, four to go. Again, Barnsley today saw off Shrewsbury, which I thought they would do. So Barnsley stay in front of us, but we have three away games left. We've got to wait to paint the power on back all day Monday. Now, Portsmouth are at home to Coventry. Again, Coventry won the day against Bradford and relegated Bradford, I think it was. So Coventry will be no push-ups, push-overs against Portsmouth. Now, Barnsley, I think Barnsley away to Plymouth, the Green Army. That'll be a tough match. The same as Sunderland away to Peterborough, it will be a tough match. We haven't got many days rest, so hopefully the players that have played the day stay fit. Uh, pardon me. Uh, pardon me. Hopefully the players today will stay injury free and we'll have the same setup, the same lineup for the game away to Peterborough because Ozturk had a bit of, I wish it was cramp or a calf niggle today, but he stayed on the pitch. And in the match performance today, I really, I cannot give it to anybody. I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got to say it was a team performance. Two good central defenders, Ozturk and Dunn. Turkish delight. Absolutely delightful to watch today. Dunn. Backing out the orders, cut them all in the centre of midfield. The leader, the leader of the pack. 
absolutely fantastic. Captain Moore, like I said, puts his body on the line, which you want to see a full shift in a footballer, and he did that. Also, Charlie White led the line really well today. Please for his goal. Morgan, some great work down the wing and absolutely deserved his goal too. 0-9 and right back, put a full shift in. They took some kicks today, mind. He got cut in half a couple of times, but he bounces. He's like a ball, like a rubber ball. 0-9 is like a rubber ball. He comes bouncing back to you. He gets off the ground and he gets on with the game. So for me, they're the players. Joint. This drink goes out to all them players. They're joint. Man of the matches for me. But if I had to give it to one person, I'm a little bit biased because I'm a Catamore fan, like I said. And Catamore gets man of the match for me. Even though there's six or seven out there who deserve to be up there in the, the man of the match polls. 100%. McLaughlin, fantastic save. Didn't have much to do, but he was there. Called upon. He did the job well. But like I say, good team performance today. Now we've got four more matches to go. Four victories we promoted. Possibly three victories in the draw we promoted if Barnsley slip up. Peterborough, like I said, will be a difficult match. But we have the squad and we have the will to drive. The want, the knowledge to do it and get three points away from home. But we need to put in a shift like we have done today. And back holiday on Monday, it's good Friday today, and back holiday on Monday, it's only two days difference, so it won't be long. I'll have to update the, the, uh, the sheets for 10 points, because there's a few people I think will have 2-0 today. Not including makes, I said 1-0. So right, I'm going to do a toast for Sunday today, but keep us in the running for promotion. <sighs> and hopefully, I'm going to enjoy a couple of cans tonight. And I've seen Corny tonight, I've seen Corny in Peter Lee, look at this. And I'll see ya. On Monday. Corny has been spotted in Peter Lee. The tank is back. The tank, the tank's back in Peter Lee. Back with Lone Spell. 